usually Pennsylvania is associated with stone barns and log barns, but mostly stone barns. And so you have these very big prominent barns and they are much bigger than the house. Stone barns are certainly more expensive to build than frame barns. And this is a very, very fertile part of the Susquehanna Valley. So farmers were prosperous enough to afford to build stone barns fairly early on. Their uses evolved over time. And with that, their aesthetics will evolve over time. It's not out of the ordinary to have a barn with lots of different growths and additions on it. The Star Barn is located in Dolphin County, Pennsylvania, and it has been an iconic treasure in that county for many, many years. The Tomato Barn was established in 1987. We're known for the sweetest tomatoes this side of heaven. A lot of people know where this old tomato barn is. This is the McPherson Barn on the Gettysburg National Military Park. My great, great, great grandfather was in the Union Cavalry and he actually fought out here on the first day. A lot of the Union casualties that were treated here were casualties that were created by artillery fire. I think what a lot of people like about barns is seeing the structure when you go into barns. You see the wood and the, you know, the knots and it's very organic and it's very romantic. This barn was built in 1914 by the Amos Sheely family. It's arguably the site of the first commercial apple orchard in Adams County. This is called the barn at Silverstone. The history of the barn goes back quite a bit. It's about 200 years old. This is an excellent example of repurposing a barn because of the wine tasting and the rustic environment. When I first walked into this barn back in 2005, stepped on that threshing floor, saw that medieval-like framing in the front, and I screamed. I've seen many Schweitzer barns, and none of them had quite the substantial timbering as that. In 2015, I had a couple gentlemen that are barn enthusiasts come into my office and said, well, what's your idea, guys? They wanted to make a statement. They wanted people to understand. We sat down and hammered out a resolution. It designated 2015 as the year of the barn for Pennsylvania. So these historic Pennsylvania barns in the Susquehanna Valley, along with the open farmland and the historic fence rows and the pasture lands and the rural roads and the small bridges, are all part of that landscape fabric that tell the story of a place and of a people and of a time. Why did that farmer build that barn? What were they growing that they needed a barn that shape or that style or in that location? It's the story of the Susquehanna Valley. Who doesn't like a barn? It's just that simple. No matter what stripe we are politically, we all have a love affair with barns.